come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we're on a quest to take over the world, vampire-like, and for Armageddon. That's the whole thing. We're gonna, <laughs> truly, truly. We're going to suck the world dry. <laughs> Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> These are Let's the. Let's not put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll skip so, that one. Definitely don't just isolate that clip, you guys. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these are the Internet Radio Superstar. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by. Colin. What did we watch tonight? <laughs> we watched a movie called Leaf Jonkers Darkness. Anything else to add to that? The vampire version. Ooh, all right. So we have questions about that. Okay. Parentheses recommended by director. Uh, yeah, that, I think that's yeah, the yeah. full title. <laughs> yeah. Um, from what year? Uh, originally 1993. All the feels for the 1993 era. Of, yeah. Uh, the stank that I got from this movie. But uh, you say 1993 era. Well, because as I was telling Michaela mm-hmm. before you came down here, uh, that if Marty McFly was to go back in time today, he would go back to 1993. Why so? That's 30 that's years. The, that's the age? Oh, the, just, uh, just yeah. based on 30 yeah. years? Jesus. Yeah. Why we gotta do that? Why, Could why you even... live in 19... Now that you just saw, like, vintage 1993? I don't like, think... I, I mean, I, I lived think... through it once. You know, I right, think I could do but, it again. But yeah. comparative to the age we are, I don't know if I could do it at this age yep. and go back to the 90s and live through it and just be <laughs> like, ah, but maybe it would be like... It, think of how cheap everything would be. True. Yeah, that's true. true. It would like, be great, though. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It, it might be pretty awesome. Maybe it'd be great. Yeah. I don't know. There, it, you got to start tearing holes in your uh, jeans again and growing mullets. Again, and, you say again. Yeah. again. Oh, I think you're the only one that went through it and then could go through it again, <laughs> technically. I don't think I ever had ripped jeans. Really? Nope. I oh, take wow. it back. I, I was going to say, the, jeans. W- yeah, the, the early 2000s, they had a big, strong comeback. So I'm sure right. you I had them at that time. Out to yeah. People at a certain mm-hmm. point just like wear these ripped jeans. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. We've all had ripped yeah. jeans. Yeah, mm-hmm. ripped, ripped jeans. What were you going to ask, though? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Leif Jonkers. Yes. Who is Leif Jonkers? Well, I'm guessing that he put his name on the front of it because it seems from watching his movie that he would be a big devotee of John Carpenter, right? I mean, it would seem so. Um, doesn't exactly roll off the tongue the way John no, Carpenter does. Right, that's does, true. Though. But I mean, it's a unique name, I yeah. guess. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, Once yeah. you hear it, you're just like, okay, I'll remember that for a little while. Uh, he's a guy from Wichita, Kansas. Okay. Uh, wanted to make a, a, a movie. I mean, is this his we first all? movie? As far as I know, yeah. Okay. I mean, but the, the I guess the thing about okay, so this movie is hard to find for those of you out here out there probably like looking it up. Although <laughs> it's hard to find just because you can't see the fucking cover. Well, right? We're looking at the DVD version. I got the DVD, but uh, Arrow Video, I guess, has announced that they're they're going to be putting out a version of this. So it's like an underground cult movie. Like we we've talked about like independent movies. Mm. Uh, before we've talked about the Wisconsin independent movies, yeah. we've been there yeah. a little bit, yeah. But there's a difference with those ones, right? I mean, there's still like those are thirty blood beat, whatever, blood, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like thirty five millimeter regional horror movies, yes. right? Yes. yes, they at least you know had to be shot on film so they could be shown in in theaters or yes. drive ins or somehow locally that you could show them, yeah, right? Not on videotape because. In 1993, the digital revolution hasn't happened. You don't have digital projectors in, in theaters. If you want to show a movie in a theater, it has to be on 35 millimeter yep. or at least in some you know revival places, 16 millimeter. Mm-hmm. What was this shot on? Eight, super eight millimeter. Super eight. Film. So they had to blow that up to 35 millimeter to show this in theaters? I think, uh, I don't actually know if it was ever shown in a theater until this version was created in the digital era because i think okay. this is from like 07 or something like that this uh, is the vampire version is a recut of right, the all right that's my question so you say this has come out about 07 so what was this movie in 1993 videotape it was available on vhs okay. that's how you found it in video stores so this is the video store era you know follows like you know the the grindhouse uh drive-in era yeah. drive-ins are closed by this time right basically now they're they're back but i mean they were on the the downgrade yep. home entertainment was the king that was the netflix of the day DVD. and so everybody had uh yeah vhs and dvd well i saw it on vhs and then oh, this i'm sure this you know you mean like, it looked worse than this um well you saw a little bit of it we watched a little bit the original versions yeah. preserved on the you know so you can go back and right, watch right, it right. but i guess for the original version he had um 
projected it on a wall and recorded it with a video camera and then edited that. Wow. I think, yeah. Whoa. So That's this brutal. is the... There's so many Jesus. layers. Copy of, of a copy of a copy of a copy. Yeah. Well, oh, Super, 8, Super 8 film. Okay. Before, we're looking at one right now. We've got here... That's right, because I used to make uh, Super 8 movies. I had Colin a camera. Super 8 movies. He's it's only eight, uh, eight millimeters wide. Ooh, yes, I uh, Super Eight is different because the perforations run up and down instead of sideways because you had more more image space nice. that way. Okay, okay. Uh, sometimes they had uh, synchronized sound on the cameras, and a lot of times they didn't. So mm-hmm. you would record the sound separate and then sync it up. Sure, um, in those days, a lot of people would record home movies with them. Uh, Super Eight used to be like you. Could, I had access to this, right? Like I didn't have access to sixteen millimeter. Uh, no, that you, still felt very film school. Yes. For 16, yeah. But Super 8 was Osco drug, right? Yeah, like yeah, You yeah. could this go is, to Osco. Like you're doing the home movies, kids playing in the backyard and everything. You're yeah. doing 8mm. And all these drugstores had uh, film counters, right? Mm-hmm. Because everybody was, you know, you had to go there to get your film developed, you yep. know? Mm-hmm. Uh, with your regular snap photo cameras could and you do, whatever. Could you drop this off at a photo hut yes. and, and, and get it developed? Yes. But well, like see, as Manhunter you know. explained to us, it had to be shipped out to a lab and then and sent back. They didn't actually do the processing there. Mm. Um, I remember, it seems to me like in 1980s dollars, I could be wrong, but you could be spending somewhere in the area of $20 for three minutes worth of film. It came Oof. as a cartridge that you loaded into the camera, sent it off to get it developed, and the trick with this is uh, there's no negative with Super 8. It's like Polaroid. Basically, what you they develop it right there on the thing, and you get it back. So you never have a negative. So you, all the work you're doing on it is you're destroying that, the film. Right. You you get it, and that's <laughs> it. Like, yeah. whatever you film, you get it developed, and then you have it. But that is all you have. Yes. Uh, yes. That's Kodak. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. And like, guard that with your life. Yeah. So these, uh, there was a time before um and i guess that's kind of why i chose this movie to highlight this time that that happened before you know digital came along and then everybody kind of had access to i mean i guess you had like digital video cameras but you remember that while where they it still wasn't good enough Mm. to be like an actual movie and then they got kind of prosumer and then 28 days later it was like a prosumer movie remember that but but prosumer (laughs) like some of those early digital movies are hard to watch now they just look so ugly it's just ah, it's tough yeah that like that new uh, that Zack Snyder Dawn of the Dead is kind of like that too it's got that look Mm because they don't have they don't look like film and I guess yeah Super 8 still had that film look but it was like you know, usually, I mean, you only have, you know, instead of 35 millimeters, you got eight millimeters to, to expose. Yeah. And so your images, you just don't have that kind of sharpness. Right. You no. Know, even that you get with like Especially because of like, I'm assuming you need a lot more light for this in order for it to, to on an eight millimeter, considering the framing is so small, to, 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 you know. Uh, just to just expose. See anyway. expose yeah. Just to see what's yeah. happening in this. Yeah. Because as we saw in this, are, like. You know, uh, every other shot has got, you know, street lights and everything, but nothing, no light is projected anywhere. It's just like, it, it just won't pick show it up. up. Yeah, it won't yeah, pick no. it up anywhere. I mean, that's the thing. That's, no he made a movie that's obviously called Darkness Now. I don't think that was the original title, but yeah, <laughs> because it, like, it's so dark. I yes. mean, like there's pinpoints of light everywhere and they have these giant, right. used to have this, you know, bar with two big incandescent light bulbs. Out them, just like, basically. Yeah. Yes. Like, poof, yes. You know? And so a lot of I've the close-ups look like that. You you know, shooting through a Super 8 millimeter camera was a tiny little viewfinder that you'd look through. No, right, no <laughs> video village. Nobody's sitting around to look at things. No wireless. I'm going to watch this while I'm over here. You had to look through the viewfinder to see what was going on in this stuff. But you couldn't tell if you were in focus or not because you just basically had to do measurements and say, like, well, I've set it to five feet right. away from me. And yeah, like, yeah, hopefully yeah. that's Tape in focus. measures and shit. It's like, all right, we're going from five feet to two feet. We got to adjust as we go, pull focus and everything. Yeah. Everything used to be very hard. I mean, it yes. still is, obviously, yeah. to make movies. And but. I mean, I suppose that was the buy-in, as we've talked about before in some of the other uh, movies about, like, regional filmmakers. It's like you had to have a certain level of expertise and familiarity yes. with the how the tools work. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess you still do. You sure. know, if you're, if you're shooting on digital to make right. it look good. But, but, it, but Right. But it's a lot easier now and again. Everybody can pick up whatever they have and just shoot something. Back then, you had to know a lot. <laughs> you had to know how to turn on the camera, light for it and all that stuff. You yeah. had to know how to load a camera. Yeah. Like things like that. Well, this was easy because I don't think, you know, because Super 8 was contained in a cartridge, right. it was light proof. And so, you know, you weren't in danger of exposing anything. 
um, by doing it. But um, in this period of time, uh, there were at least three filmmakers that I can think of who actually made eight millimeter feature films um, that people might have heard of. And that was um, Scott Spiegel made one called The Dead Next Door. Okay. Um, Jim Van Beber is probably the most famous. He made Deadbeat at Dawn, and uh, which is a pretty good biker movie. And then he went on to do like the Manson Family, and okay. I think he's still cool. out there somewhere. And Leif Jonker, who made uh, Darkness, and apparently followed that up with a movie that I don't know if it's ever been distributed. We watched a trailer for Yeah uh, Demon Machine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which didn't get a lot out of that trailer other than shooting. Other Lots than of shooting. He knows how to use. Um, events that are happening around him considering yeah. there's a whole building demolition in that yes, trailer there is. That so he's smart enough to take advantage of these things these the environments he sees around him mm -hmm. yeah. i think so he, he does that very well yeah um i have a question about the update of this movie yeah so why why the going from what we had uh, the non-vampire version back in 1993. Yeah, the original VHS. Version. And so why did he come back in around 2007 and re recut, also reshoot, add more? Like, it feels like there's more different ADR to this, different music, obviously, like you said. Like, yeah. What led to that, if you know, to, to redoing this? Um, I mean, as far as I know, like, you know, and I guess, you know, the precursor to this, and obviously a huge inspiration to all these guys that we're talking about, was Sam Raimi, right? Because yeah. Sam Raimi shot a movie on Super 8 called Within the Woods, which apparently we're never going to get to see because of some you know, licensing or rights Damn. or something like that, which was the, the, the movie that he showed to people in order to raise money for uh, Evil Dead, sure. right? So um, Leaf Jonker and all these guys, they made these movies and then, you know, there was actually like a market for it. I guess that's what's kind of cool about it. It's like you made basically a home movie mm -hmm. and you were able to sell it and people saw it and people saw it internationally, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, Germans are really big on uh, gore movies, it turns out. So, it does, <laughs> you know, but it sells everywhere in the, the world. The hell you say. And so when it comes time for them to uh, do a DVD, then, you know, there was a company that went back and uh, said, well, let's do like an H, or, you know, like a higher definition version of this. And so I think when he was given the, from what I understand, when he was given the opportunity to like, wait, we could put out a, a new version of it. He's like, wait. <laughs> you know, like, thoughts and ideas. <laughs> I've been sitting on this for several years and I want to kind of recut it. So right. it, the vampire version is a recut version um, using, I guess, like, you know, the editing techniques of, I don't know what the copyright did. I'm going to say 07, but I'm not sure on the back when this was actually done. But um, five, it says in the oh, five. OK, so in oh, five, you know, obviously tempos and paces had changed. And so especially from 1993. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So it gets new ADR. They recut the movie. You know, you can tell where there's the original edits and then the, the, the digital transitions and stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. just like we zoomed out too too quick. We need to put a little transition in here to to even it out. Yeah, but I mean, I guess the thing is for those of us who remember the original movie, it like sacrifices certain uh, moments. It does. You showed us a speech <laughs> earlier from our 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 head bad guy, and which I thought was a, a good moment that could still be in this movie. Yeah, but it's removed from the new version. I don't know what the... I think the Arrow version that's coming out is like the final cut. So okay. uh, he's going to recut it again. And maybe he had, uh, you know, uh, uh, feedback from playing this one at film festivals and I stuff mean, like that. maybe. Yeah, I was going to say, so this is the vampire version. Were they not vampires in the original? Were they no, they zombies? were. No, it was always a vampire movie. Okay. I guess... Um, so that's the thing. So yeah, it's... Uh, he went, So Leaf Jonker, Wichita, uh, uh, Kansas uh, mm -hmm. filmmaker... Uh, wants inspired by John Carpenter and Sam Raimi and George Romero. I mean, definitely. This is what I guess you know. It, you're in Wichita, Kansas, and you're like, you know, George Romero is the guy for Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. But there's hundreds of small towns all across right well, America. I, I, I'm a from a small town. Why can't it be me? <laughs> I can do this. So there you go. So I mean, it's employing basically the same type of techniques. You're gonna hire all your friends. Hire. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. you're gonna ask the, the, what the, what are you doing this weekend you want right. to get covered in blood <laughs> come out and be in a movie and so it's got that kind of uh you know let's let's put on a show it, kind yeah, of yeah it really uh, is because it, it looks like there uh, were a lot of dedicated people to this as far yeah. as actors and i'm sure crew as well but everyone it seems really got into this behind it like they were gung-ho to make this 
and to participate in the uh, more extreme scenes of this movie. How extreme is it? Extreme, I would say. Yeah? Okay, I, would I was say curious so. how this was going to play, because this is, I guess, why I was like, well, you know, gee, There's who was it last shit. week? I was like, oh, Colin's picking a movie. It's going to be all sleazy. I'm like, no, we're going the other way. It's a it's a splatter movie. Yeah. A, right? Splatter. Yes. To the point of comedy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Much splatter. Yeah, because that's, I, mean, uh, I guess, the reason why you'll remember it, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's yes. got over-the-top uh, gore effects. That's mm-hmm. what, because it doesn't really have, like, acting. Nope. It doesn't nope. have, uh, you know, uh, cinematography. Nope. It's, uh, it's, it's continu- got a score, but yeah, it is I, the same score. Right. Yeah, or a story. It's a gore movie. So yeah. this is a movie for gore hounds who read Gore Zone magazine and read Fangoria magazine yep. or any other title film threat magazine the title. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um and that's kind of what birthed the I think there was, you know, because that was the zines and stuff for yeah. how people knew about uh these like horror movies, you know, and then you'd right. go when, track them down and the nascent days or when there was no internet, like this is how you learn about this stuff and you know, it became um uh in circles the talk of movies like this and trying to find these things to watch and all that like th- those early days of yeah of, so if you've of seen word this, of mouth horror right you know, yeah. like, <laughs> somehow however you saw this movie was uh through the uh the horror grapevine yes pre-internet uh well i'm or the vampire version the blood is very like red acrylic paint blood though it is like they need to do what bruce campbell's is add that little drop of blue to you know mm, balance it out a bit yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. yeah, it is that it is that red 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 primary red yeah, yeah. a lot of like Cairo syrup or something right. it's one of those I I guess that's the other thing that kind of you know it's like you look at these kind of movies you grade different mm-hmm. at least i do because it's to, like i think well if i was going to do that you know how how would you pull that off it's kind of one of those but yeah. he oh, yeah. uses a lot of locations that you just kind of like find mm-hmm. yeah yeah abandoned uh, houses yes abandoned houses we eventually end up at a uh a car wash yes again brilliant <laughs> for as far as cleanup goes yeah because, because that's it when i watch these that's the only thing i think about having made a few movies that were a little bloody the only thing i think about is just like oh that's gonna be fucking hard to clean up when watching these big gore scenes. The tile in the gas station, Sean, you pointed out, oh. it was already starting to like stick and you could see like sticky boot prints yeah. of it. And I was like, no, it's already too late for yeah. some of it. <laughs> it really, yeah. it really like, oh, that's not coming up for a few. Yeah. That's going to be a couple weeks. And like hair and stuff is going to cling yeah. to it. And, oh, God. Well, you just, and it just ends up looking like a real fucking death scene. Yeah, a real yeah. Crime scene. Yeah, exactly. It really gory. does. Okay, like, this, this brings me to a question. What do you do if you find blood in public? You walk. You keep right. Walking. Okay. But like, <laughs> but how does it get cleaned up? Public. Like who when does the, that? When the public cleaners come by. Uh, there is a. Uh, oh, who do you call to get blood cleaned no, up? The poli- I think it's police this- actually do have like a unit or something like that who does that for real crime scenes. Or yeah. Something. Sure. But, sure. Like, sure. For this. But let's say I'm know. just walking around, you know, somewhere you- somewhat public, like an outdoor mall or something, right? And I find like a fucking pile of bl- like fresh blood. Mm. What do I do? Do I call non-emergency and say, hey, there's a pile of fresh blood Yes. Here? You, you I mean, probably should. But, <laughs> but like, do it anonymously so like, you don't yeah, get questions, I'm just I like, guess. yeah. It, I feel like it's left for street cleaners who eventually will come around in two months, which when they yeah, you know, yeah, complete but, their cycle and everything. Or but it's like a health hazard until then. Or just stays know? there. Yeah. yeah. This is a portal to hell yeah. that happened right here. Real blood would attract insects and animals. That's what I'm saying. Somewhere. Like, it's a health hazard if it's just, like, it's a puddle yeah. just sitting there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Hot the, summer months, too. No, blood? I haven't, oh. but I was just like, because, <laughs> like, if you call 911, they're just going to be like, you're wasting our time and hang up on you, right? Yeah, well, you, but if you call non-emergency, yeah. This stuff, because, I mean, I remember from my own experience, you know, trying to make blood, and it, this stuff, it it does wash away the mm-hmm. the heavy red, but then mm-hmm. it leaves behind like this pink. pink. Yeah. Yep. You know, so you got pink all over. I mean, yep. they're doing stuff in bathrooms and people's houses. And I'm like, this is one of those things where it's like, oh, yeah, shoot a movie in my house. And Leaf Junker's just sitting there going like, more, more blood, more yeah. blood. And then the next day, hey, man. somebody's like. <laughs> you remember uh, how many blood squirts we did on my apartment yep, wall? Yeah. yeah. Did it ever come uh, out? Oh, yeah, it came out. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was a little pink for a little while, but it came well, out. Well, we were even using we were using that Mio stuff. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah it wasn't the Mio even stuff the that already came out in a spray bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. it left little. I was like, oh, shit, that's yeah. not going to come out. What do you do? You rent. <laughs> this just happens. Yep. Yeah. I, I had red hair for a while, and every time I washed my hair, it would run red, like blood oh, yeah. red. And then the, 
the whole time I had red hair, my tub was just pink all the time. Yep. Just permanently Did pink. Did that come out? Or was Eventually, it just like, yeah. but like yeah. it took like oh, your bleach eyes and get several used months. To it. You're yeah. like, that's not pink yeah. anymore. And then your landlord's like, you left pink yeah. all over this shower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sometimes it looked like someone had been murdered. Just like drops of it everywhere. It was fucking crazy. So this is a heavy gore movie. Is it heavy gore movie? Heavy. Heavy. But not necessarily quality. We're saying heavy, like as in there's a lot of the what do you consider, there. there is a okay a lot all right so what a lot do you of cons- screen time is dedicated that's to that's very I would true say. so what do you consider quality is i'm just saying like this like uh, it is like dead, dead alive because if a dead bo- uh, if a body gets mutilated by the sun this is what i think it'll look like yeah, yeah, <laughs> in yeah, a yeah, world yeah. where that doesn't happen but I, when i'm thinking about other movies that are as gory as this their effects yeah. are much better you know what i'm saying Ooh. that's like like I will agree. Like Dead Alive is a sure. much better quality of I'll agree, this type but, of. But gore. there is a level to this that is, I no, think, I know. really good. Yeah. Considering. Yeah. Considering. I mean, what I, I can, from what I can see, you know, yeah. like who knows? Maybe, maybe it being blown out is to its benefit. Maybe it looks better because we can't see this. I'm sure it yeah. helps at some know? points. And as Colin said, there is a, the. Uh, they're redoing this for the Arrow video release, so I'm very curious as to what this looks like cleaned up. I guess I I how say cleaned there's up like, they can get. It. I know because there's no negative to go back to. You have yeah. to just go back to the original uh, film. Star it's not always the most realistic gore. Is oh that no, no, I'm yeah, at. it's very, very cartoony true. at certain parts, very especially true. when skeletons are involved. Right, yeah. skeletons with eyeballs yeah. and with the air yeah. bladders in them yeah. that are you know, going and stuff like that. I mean, I guess this happens in real life. What are you talking? Yeah. about? <laughs> but that's, I suppose, I think the budget on this was uh, reportedly like five hundred thousand dollars, right? Okay. And I'm like. Like, okay. That's all he spent money. That's, it's like yeah. that all he film spent stock. money. On. Yeah, <laughs> it was the gore of gore. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Everybody else is working for free. Yep. This is a passion Maybe project. There was probably food. They brought their wardrobe from home. They brought the yeah. wardrobe. They packed a sack lunch for themselves. Yeah. Like, yeah. you may have gotten them food. Mm. I don't know if that's in the budget. It might yeah. be. I mean, who knows? But it was. Uh, it started shooting in '89. And it was basically a weekender. Jeez. They, I mean, everybody's got like regular jobs. Oh, yeah. right? yeah. It's fun Sometimes to get through subsidizing it with a regular job. And right. then like, you know, yeah, man, come that's be in my movie. Right. Well, that's also just a fun thing to do. Like, hey, this week, we're shooting this weekend. It's going to get bloody. Yeah. Like, that's the stuff I used to look forward to with shooting <laughs> shit. So, yeah. So this is because uh, he was a uh, writer, producer, director, cinematographer, editor. He's got all the credits and makeup effects with Gary Miller, who's the yes. lead actor. Actors. So those two guys are the Fango nerds who are sitting there going like, "How do you make you know liquid latex and bladder right. effects and how do, how we do you squirt build blood a- all the time? <laughs> yeah, in every shot. But There's so those, much squirting blood. You just spit it into the other person's mouth. Oh my you just god! Spit it right in their oh fucking my, face never, and in their mouth. Never. Well, I, if, I'm glad this was made in the '90s because if this was made now, everyone would have gotten COVID immediately because <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're sure, just but spitting yeah, fluids we at each smarter. other. Yeah. Just fluids, <laughs> a lot of fluids. There's some of them that I'm some like, people getting hit in the eyes and the mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. like these people did not care. No, like, they like, are are less discerning than I would. Yeah, be, I wouldn't I be wouldn't, okay with that. No, this. yeah, I'll be bloody, but nobody is going to spit. Or gallons of blood yeah. in my yeah. face. Yeah, well, some of it, at some point, somebody's chucking blood from, like, a, a bucket off camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> You're just right in your eye. Splattered it's all like, over. <laughs> I, know, I know I've brought this up before on this podcast, but it's like that video of Katy Perry getting hit with the slime oh, yeah. at the, at the oh, Kids' yeah. Choice Awards where it goes up her nose, oh, and yeah. she almost this, falls over. Like, that's what's happening to these people. There was a movie. lot of, like, that went too far down that person's throat. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw up. Yeah, yeah. 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 But that was that, the most horrifying that, part. Just, yeah, uh, but that's. I mean, but uh, they're doing they're doing something right. If yeah. that's the reaction they're getting out of people who are watching this, who are yeah. uh, for the people who aren't immediately disgusted and walk away. Yeah, right. yeah. For I, everyone I, else, this is like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. But gore cool. are a special breed. <laughs> yeah. I guess, right? right. Like uh, that is a special effect is the thing that you can do. Uh, it's you know of a relatively low uh, you know cost to get into it, and yeah. that sells your movie. Yeah. That's why you know the romantic comedies don't work as well because they <laughs> cost more, you know, or whatever yeah. to do. And it's not the the spectacle of uh, right. stuff being splattered all over the place. All the I went to a so I went to horror convention over the weekend and I saw like my first piece of society merch I had ever oh, seen. You, and I was it? like, that's a special person to like. <laughs> that's the same type of go- person, right? Yeah, the right, person yeah, that would yeah. buy like a society like, piece like, of ah, artwork. Society. Yeah, it yeah. was it was like the faces with the skin tentacles connected to Get, the body oh, and like oh, a round oh, painting. Yeah, so oh, it was wow. very 
gross. Yeah. Yeah. But it was well done. And I was like, I respect you going Who's for a society guy? piece. I don't Who's got that on above his A yeah. couch or <laughs> B bed? Yeah, but like I feel like that's like a Gorehound movie too, yeah. right? Oh, like because yeah. of the effects in that. Well, that's so. a, you know, it's like because I I guess I knew that there were uh, gory movies out there, but like Faces of Death or something like that yeah. was like the one that you, you kind of knew about. Yeah. Obviously, Lucio Fulci movies had made it to uh, home video uh, here in the States. So, I mean, yep. Zombie, you know, was out. The Beyond was called uh, The Seven Doors of Death. Right. I mean, yep. you know, Cannibal Holocaust was out there. So, I hadn't seen that. I saw those when, uh, you know, DVD basically rediscovered Italian horror mm-hmm. movies. But obviously, Leif Jonker, well, I don't know. Because, uh, I mean, his influences do seem to be like Phantasm. Uh, yeah. uh, Evil demons. Dead, Demons, Demon, yeah, definitely. Demons. Uh, John Evil Carpenter, Dead. you know. Um, then there's some stuff that John Carpenter almost maybe lifted from darkness. Now, <laughs> you think he's seen how this? unrealistic that may sound? <laughs> but you never know. You yeah, never I don't know. know. For people who are you know do this stuff or are interested in it, you never know what gets in front of their eyes. Well, just because I guess specifically but this is so limited in its distribution. Yeah, that's very true. I would assume very John true. Carpenter didn't see this, yeah. but it's just ironic that like a movie that seems to be heavily influenced from John Carpenter uh has vampires that crawl out of the ground. You know, yeah. I mean, that's how the, and then that. later in Vampire John Carpenter's movie Vampires it's the same shots almost the vampires waking up out I've of never uh, seen the that dirt. Movie. Yeah. There's a, a, well, a lot of newer bad. Carpenter. I've How do you feel seen. about James Woods right now? Because <laughs> no, he's, not, he's not the star great, of that but, movie. But, but yeah. I also can, I like video drum though too. You know, so oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's in, he's very intense. He yeah, is. He's always been a very intense yeah. actor. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. I remember liking the movie when gotcha. I saw it. So. Okay. All right. Jack Crow. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so what is... He doesn't seem like the main guy you'd have for like a bit. No, he doesn't no. seem like he'd fit into that role, but yeah. Yeah, again, there it is. Yeah, Weirder yeah. things have happened. He's nothing if not a dedicated man, right? Yeah. Sure. And that's well, sure, and right, or wrong, right or wrong. Right or wrong, he's, he's got to commit, yeah. Yep. And that may be one of like Carpenter's last... like. Well, I mean, after that, it was big, like Ghosts like, of Mars. Movies, right? Ghosts of Mars, yeah. yeah. And his last the movie Ward. The Ward. Yeah. Yeah, Ward which yeah. never I've really not seen that either. Like, I, I, like, I stopped watching Carpenter movies after like 92 like uh, there's a certain era because i don't yeah. th- i don't think i've seen ghost of mars even though yeah, like natasha henstridge and yeah. ice cube are in yeah. there right yeah, yeah. i haven't I'm seen it seen that. Yeah, no and i good. haven't seen the ward yeah yeah the ward felt like a movie that would have been good if it had been released 20 years earlier sure when i saw it but okay. yeah okay. um okay so darkness uh darkness. This is the vampire is movie. movie yes um all right, so so what do we got here? What 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 what's going on in this movie? You know, high life, high life. I'm glad you asked, Colin, because I don't think I could tell you. <laughs> well, how does? Oh, right, how do? We, oh, Jesus! There's it a concert. Like, there's always a journey, and well, I always forget where we started. Okay, there's a there's a, we got We got to kick off what the threat is in the movie okay. with our cold open, which takes place at a gas station in the middle of nowhere. Right, the so, of nowhere. right. There is a random man who is running down the streets. Oh, I bloody, forgot about this. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Bloodied and a lot's happened since then. Yep, a lot has happened since then. <laughs> but he, he's a bloodied man running to excuse me, running down the street. He goes into a gas station. There's a cop there. There's a befuddled man behind the counter, and then there is a uh, Toby. Toby, who's a stocking shelves and shit like that, right? Yep. But he comes in and is like, "He's here. He's coming. He's after us. Look out!" And then, yeah. he's, and then he, you know, he, he he's he, you get the suspicion he's been through a lot. Up till this point, and he and then he eventually turns. He's like, he's here. He's, <laughs> We're he's all dead. There he is. Yeah. And a Cam- what a Camaro pulls up. Yeah. And a a local town woman <laughs> who does not know she's on film, although it kind of feels like, gets out and 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 uh, the guy just kind of starts freaking out. Like it's over. It's done. He's found us. And he steals the gun from the cop and blows his brains out. Yeah, the this first point. door effect in the yeah. movie, which yeah. I always did not of, think we were going to see anything. Honestly, I thought we were just going to see the reaction. Yeah, so I was surprised to even see the little bit we did. Yeah, yeah but he wants you to know what's coming. It's like, yeah. this guy blew his brains out right. on camera. Just so then we get blood all over the the convenience store floor. Right. And, yeah. First location ruined of this ruined. By this movie. Yes. Yeah. But that happens, and then but he and then comes back. Living shows up. It's uh, Liven. 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 The Liven vampire. Show up? Liven shows up outside. Yeah, Kills there was the woman. Yeah, so he's Liven is uh, looks like it's uh, actor actor. I don't know, uh, non professional. Uh, Randall 
Atkins or Akins? That's his name. Um, looks like he came off the set of The Lost Boys. He does. He's got mm-hmm. longer blonde hair. He fits in kind of that 90s vampire vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the dark, uh, like, trench coat mm-hmm. duster, yep. you know. Yep. Um, He's got the duster. Looks like a rock star or something, yep. right? Or, they all you know, do. Band, rock stars were all band. just vampires, right? Yeah. 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 All, all 80s rock stars were vampires. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just making that clear. Yeah. And uh, so he's like the guy that uh, uh, Leaf Jonker is like, you look like a vampire. You're my lead vampire. Right. So and so the guy in the uh, convenience store comes back to life and then starts mowing on the uh, the cop. He and- shoots the cop a couple times to the chest. Like, and the effects in this movie, because it is it is lower budget, but we get a lot of you see everything as yeah. far as effects go mm-hmm. in this movie. Like yeah. if someone gets shot. Through the stomach on one side, you are going to see the explosion of blood out the other side yep. of the body. Yeah. Like you will see that no matter what in this movie. You will see the aftermath of the bloodiness in this movie, mm-hmm. yeah. which I didn't suspect would happen in such a what feels like a very low budget movie. Yeah, I thought this is going to be like habit, or it'd just be kind of like following people around, just right. hanging out, doing shit. Right. I and didn't expect this level of right. And there'd be nice some surprise. stuff that would be a little bloody. Yeah, right, but yeah. Like, no, like he is the point. Is to go for those bloody scenes, right? Yeah, which Definitely. which I think in a vampire movie is kind of cool because like yes. vampire movies usually tend to be kind of like stylish yes. and buttoned up and more about like the atmosphere than the gore, you know? Yeah, yes. yeah. And well, I like that they are yeah. violent, but I guess that's the question. Like, uh, or, or you know, is it a vampire movie? I mean, it, it says it is. Describe these vampires. What are the vampires like in darkness? Zombies. Kind of, yeah, and like they don't really have any like physical. There's way no- of knowing they're vampires by looking at them like no right. fangs or anything it seems like usually they just have like a wound somewhere that's yeah. gaping and bleeding and that's yeah. how you know right. who's a vampire you, and right who you know they're undead of some sort right is yeah. what you get from them and that and they like to chew all on people 18 years old yeah <laughs> yeah yep. uniformly <laughs> all the, the board, teenagers yep. are vampires yes well, which, which you have to have the energy of a teenager to do this stuff yeah on weekends but is that like, like you months. just couldn't go to any like actual adults i think John, i think leaf jonker was 18 when he started making this movie yeah. although the he guy doesn't look say, 18 yeah i was like oh that, that man looks that man is 30s, 32 yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. He's got the beard of a 32 year old. Yeah, he shows up several times yeah. in the movie as a very here stute uh, uh, victim or, yes. or vampire at right. some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teenagers yeah. also don't have a grasp of health insurance, so they're willing to jump in yes. front of moving cars. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Uh, all, all, all the things that I called out as being like, that makes me uncomfortable. Teenagers right. don't even think about. So. Yeah, yeah. Right. They think they're invincible still. They so they makes them yeah. great yeah. stunt performers. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. in movie, the movie starts they're with gung-ho. like a cast of, I don't know, several dozen names, you yes. know, in title Many cards. People. You're like, who are these people? They're the cannon fodder for, you know, they're just running around on the yep. weekend, getting all crazy bloody and chasing people yeah, down. It, in this amateur of a production, I don't like seeing people buried alive or mass crowd standing in front of a moving car charging at them. And all yeah. that stuff. I'm like, oh, there's no safety about, nets. Right. We were yeah. about the safety precautions that were in order for this to yeah. happen and all you know all it was is just guy all right he's gonna go we're gonna say move yeah and you move, and you move yeah. Yeah, yeah and that's and it, that's, it. Yeah. that's literally it yeah well i think there was a story too when i was looking into like the the background because you're like you know how do you how do you do this in Wich- mm. wichita is not like a small town no right they Kansas. have law enforcement you're out there <laughs> with shotguns do, yeah. you know and other firearms and yep. bloody to crime scene looking yep. things all over the place so sure enough you know the, the police uh got wa- wind of things were going on oh. and so they would but they were still shooting i guess without permits or anything oh, yeah. that, I, I imagine there was not a permit in sight for this movie yeah but no. the cops eventually got to know like oh you're right. shooting and again uh, tonight Lee. right it- and that's what you do because i've done that we've done that before with cops you just like you know, you you got to become friendly with them in yeah. order to be like, we're, we'll be quick. We're going to do this for like an hour. Yeah, there's going to be a burning barrel and some people are going to die, but we'll be done <laughs> soon, I promise. No fire effects in this movie, which yeah. I'm kind of surprised. But, mm. um, fire is unwieldy. We can't. 
You can predict yeah. blood squirts and everything. Mm-hmm. Fire is a little yeah. more advanced. No car explosions, nope. no car no. chases. They do nope. actually some like uh, poor man's process car chases. They do, and they run over a dude, which looked great <laughs> yeah. at the moment. Like, we have a dummy who's held together with spit and gum, <laughs> and we're going to run it I think it he's over. paper mache. The way he you exploded might, yeah. looked like a pinata. It yeah. did, and pieces yeah. of him fell apart. Yeah. It worked very well yeah. for the movie. Was that the, put this fucking thing in reverse, put it in reverse, I th- what for? <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, and that is that is the uh, that is the oomph that these actors mm-hmm. give these lines. Yeah, but uh, the the leaf junker took a bottle to the dome, though no problem. And I was like, that was definitely a real bottle they threw yeah. at that yeah, man. Yeah, right. the holy like, water. Yep. It's like candy glass. He's like, what is candy glass? Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. that is yeah. what this <laughs> yeah. movie says. Like, yeah. what are what are fra- what are effects that are yeah. not real? Why wouldn't we just use a real bottle? Right. Yeah. 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 This is dedication to yeah. your craft. I'll yes. take the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, right. I mean, you've already He's in the right. movie right. though. You know, it's like, well, somebody's got to do it. I'll take the bottle in the head because I'm I'm part of the team. Yeah. So the plot. As we understand sure. it, yes. uh, it may, well, basically, it seems like it's a riff on Phantasm, right? You yeah. have the the young man because the, the the Toby, the stalker yes. mm-hmm. at the convenience store. Toby needs to watch this, by the way. It, he, <laughs> yeah. he would hate that. He, Toby, he does not he like it that. when his name pops up in pop <laughs> yeah. culture like this. So yeah, I, he, will not he, he needs it. to watch it, and I want to know how he feels. <laughs> Toby, 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 Toby. Yeah, <laughs> name for Toby Hooper. I think it probably because there was I got probably. a Texas Chainsaw. Chainsaw Massacre vibe from a little bit of this movie. Oh, you yeah, mean from else? the chainsaw scene where <laughs> the, the character chainsaw, chainsaw busting through the, the wall? Right, yes. yeah, yeah. It was a whole a yellow chainsaw. chainsaw too, that was, yeah. I see, but even the, the effect that went on there, because he chainsaws a guy's hand at one point, Four and there's an hour. blood squirting out of and it's like a fake hand. He but I'm like, chop it off. Are he just digs into it. Yeah, that's what's blood saying. in that thing. Weird, that are, I didn't like this. He, I thought he was going to go for the wrist and chop it off, Evil right. Dead style, but instead he just digs into the palm for a yeah. long time, and yeah. then it does it's nothing. It's a weird thing. And it's just what spraying blood all right, over the place. Still like, I'm a, yeah. like I was yeah, surprised it, was it didn't weird. go through it. Yeah, that's oh, what yeah. I thought it was going to do yeah. at the wrist, which makes sense. Something. Like, yeah. Like yeah. We wouldn't uh, take him off a limb at yeah. some point. As the they vampire is reaching for the shotgun. So, yes. okay. So, Toby, <laughs> Toby, right, the survivor of the massacre at the gas station, yep. turns out that the, 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 the victim was from the same trailer park as his parents. And so Toby rushes home and finds out okay. everybody's dead. And okay. so this is why Toby is, this is become not become the connected. vampire hunter. This is not clear. Yeah, those I was scenes, like, I didn't pick up any of that. Right, okay. this is not clear. And those scenes are not in the original version. So oh, this is like the wow. biggest change that okay. I caught was like he was trying to in the re-edit I hate attach Toby to like a personal reason why he's after. I almost hate that there's so much difference between the original version and this because it makes me want to watch the original version. Uh, God damn it. Well, yeah, but you you see that Toby's there, but you don't like get why he has his personal crusade because the next thing yeah, you yeah. see is him going to the farmhouse like, right. like and then he this grabs one. his mother and his sister no in this one he okay. grabs his mother and his sister and, and that doesn't the other one, one he just goes straight to the farmhouse okay. like this the makes more sense for his personal yeah. vendetta but i also didn't understand in this one what happened to them i understand that like okay they're obviously victims of the vampire and all this stuff but it, it, it is a jump to go from where he was to oh now my mother and sister are gone and everything yeah. So there is a, a gap in there. I think it's like. for that line that he has with the cop where he's like, yeah, his name's John and he's from the same trailer park where I live. And yeah. you're like, oh, he's going back home and right. the horror has already happened. Right. So now kind There's of no like discovery or anything at that point. He's just pulling bodies out of the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's probably his real mom. I don't know, but it, it <laughs> seems like he got his a mom. Real <laughs> that is definitely a mom <laughs> to yes. participate in this movie. Yes. Um, and so Toby then becomes a vampire hunter, and he, he is does. going his, to... Uh, his mom and sister uh, get, th- get the sunrise and fucking blow up. Yeah. Because yeah. There, is a, there is a sunrise effect that they do in this movie where it's like a blast. Yeah, it's like overexposed. You're setting the exposure. Right, you know, but just also in twisting the editing, it in the camera. Right. Yeah. There, there is a, uh, an eruption. It's almost like a lightning strike when this happens to these people. Like, they see the sun and boom, boom, they are hit with it. Happens yeah. a few times in this movie. So we know that this movie's vampires is no, uh, no, uh, uh, fangs. No fangs. Um, also, sunlight is sometimes bad, but sometimes okay. Yeah. Holy water right. is a big deal. Holy water. Okay. We'll get to the holy water. <laughs> yeah. Holy water <laughs> Let's is never forget the holy water. We don't see any use of crosses nope. or garlic. Nope. 
So it's the atheist or vampire stakes. movie. Nope. But no they do stakes. say you got to shoot them in the heart. Yeah. Uh, sure. So that's and they do live in the ground. They just bury themselves, cocoon themselves yeah. in the ground. One apparently. Guy does, yes. At least Liven. Liven yeah, does. Yeah, Liven does. Yeah. Um, and so he's been, Liven has been going from town to town, apparently, like very much like the tall man, uh, turning right. towns, you yes. know. And so now uh, uh, Toby is uh, armed like Reggie Bannister, kind of pursuing him across yes. the well, country. Well, that's overstating it. Well, <laughs> I'm not seeing is, any awesome shotguns. We don't have shotguns. any triple yeah, shotguns yeah, in this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, he's armed to the teeth. They got a whole yeah, trunk yeah, full of hunting gear, crossbows. Well, and they get there, but right end. now he has yeah. a shotgun and a pistol and mm-hmm. yeah. the, little, the little tiny gun, the baby and gun. Eventually, we get a little baby gun. Yeah. I thought he would come down with a huge gun. He came down with a little baby gun. <laughs> that was a, yeah, yeah, not a bad joke. <laughs> not a bad joke. Um, our B plot, which oh. is going to tie into our A plot, is uh, there's a bunch of kids in the 90s going in the van, as you do, to a concert. Mm-hmm. You know, it, truly, uh, yeah. truly. Yeah, and, you got to go. Yeah, yep. A guy in a van going through, picking up all the people who are eventually going to be characters in this movie, taking them to a concert, which we do not see. Yeah. We see the aftermath, which is... Uh, d- um, displayed to us with uh, uh, countdowns and time limits. That's also new to the vampire, right? Version. Which is new to this. Overused, which seems, I think. Oh my the, god! Yeah, yeah. Yes. very much. But also, if it wasn't overused, essential to figure out the timeline of this movie. I if it, don't think it helped. If it if it wasn't there to begin with. I think yeah. it clears some stuff up. It is definitely overused. Well, but I'll tell you this: the impression I had the first time watching it was because there's. I think this is, uh, you know, just kind of the nature of the format and because of what time of day you're shooting at, whatever the, um, you know, because they're like, it's dawn, but it clearly looks like four in the afternoon. <laughs> you know, uh, there, there is a lot of it's one in the morning and yeah, there's, and there's fucking bright broad lights daylight coming outside. Yes. So I guess so we because get that of lot. that. When I first watched the movie, I thought it took place over a couple of days, but uh-huh. it Which turns makes out more sense. Yeah, but it doesn't. It takes place over. There's the initial, you know, instigating like, incident. Is this like one night, and then yeah. it's one night. Oh boy, that's no, why this it's felt so like many, many hours. Days. Yeah. yeah, after sunset, and then counting to sunset. Uh, it's the why, same. Night. Why didn't they just have it start ninety minutes before sunrise, and it be like a real time ninety <laughs> yeah. minute movie? Do it? Yeah, because they had to go just to the concert, time, yeah. and then four hours later, or no, they come back four hours before mm-hmm. sunlight and sunrise, right? right yeah. And then it counts down like every hour, like yeah. one hour, every, hour, every yeah. hour, and then we go from like 19. two hours to till nineteen minutes, minutes yeah. and nineteen yeah. minutes, almost minute by minute, that ten and ten rough. minutes yeah. to sunrise, yeah. three right. minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just like the sun is. Out. Yeah. yeah, I did kind it of lose patience there. with that right. device. Yeah, you do. Like, <laughs> it's like they added it for probably good reasons, mm-hmm. but then they overdid it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's like, okay, we, yeah, too yeah. much. The performances are all over the map. You've basically yep. got actual like 18 year old kids or 19 or 20 year olds, whatever, running yep. around. They're not mm-hmm. professional actors. That's part of the appeal and the detriment, I guess, of the, uh, the movie, you know, mm-hmm. t- depending yes. who you are. If you're, you know, somebody who's dabbled in filmmaking, it's, you know, it's like, oh, okay, I get what's going on. I, I can see how yeah, yeah. it would, might turn some people off. Um, there's a bunch of carnage that uh, carnage. ensues. So basically, uh, uh, Toby, he finds a house full of vampires out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there's a chainsaw <laughs> this is our fight. Cha- right. This is our chainsaw moment. Mm-hmm. A lot of heavy metal. It's Lots not even heavy. What metal. is that? Like uh, thrash metal. Some Sure. This yeah. is a, you know, the, the 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 hardcore uh, metal movie it, where it all metal. metal heads are like, yes. yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, metal and blood, yeah. <laughs> like that. It, that feels like the feeling going into it. Yeah, it's like this punk, like kind of. I kind of dig that about like you know, right? Thing, because yeah, it like, feels did, so like this is very specific. Yes, to, yeah, I, I did enjoy that. Yes, um, that's but the, it is also like it happens every time. Yeah. So it becomes mm-hmm. a lot redundant. A, it, it does mm-hmm. because that is all they're doing throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because their score is very singular as far as. Burr, the, yeah. And all yeah. oh, they keep yeah. repeating a lot of that stuff. Sure. <laughs> but then when we get into gore scenes or fight scenes, it is hardcore rock and roll and it doesn't yeah. shift up from that. So it's cool. But it also goes on for a long time. Why, yeah. why is this on. not just a music video instead? Because it feels like that's what he wants to be doing. You know, the way that like I think he could be really good at music yeah, videos like, based on this. Yeah, yeah, because it's always those crazy, long, extended gore scenes that have that heavy metal going yes. on. So mm. it's like, just 
you're already doing it. Just do it. I may, yeah. I, it out. He, yeah, he, may, he made this. He's yeah. just like, I can do music videos. Yeah. Too. Like he could do it. Mm-hmm. This could be a calling card for that mm-hmm. after this. Yeah, that's why I'm not entirely sure like what uh, his career, where his career went or what he's doing for yeah. a living now because it does seem to be like most. Of, I know that at one point he was trying to raise money for the Demon Machine movie, but uh, when I was checking IMDb, it wasn't listed and mm. I haven't seen if Oof. it's available. So. Has he made, besides going for Demon Machine, has he made anything else? I think he this, did like just... a, a short, um, I should research this more. He had mm-hmm. like another, like it was a short uh, piece of maybe a larger thing or a documentary thing, but mm-hmm. there's not really, this is basically, it seems like his uh, main calling card, or main okay. movie. Um, but there's uh, there's several more. So all the, the survivors, so basically the idea I think we're supposed to get is while the, uh, the crew in the van go to this concert, uh, Liven must have killed everybody in the everybody town. Everybody in the town. Yeah. So they come home so they to come their houses it, and yes. everybody's dead in their houses and then they have to kill them and it's like other oh, vampires. And then Toby shows up and rescues one girl and then explains, okay, there's this vampire going around killing everybody. You have to join with me. And then it becomes a flight into the night in order to <laughs> stay alive yeah. from the vampire hordes that are running loose, kind of like, uh, I don't know, an assault on precinct 13. The, yeah. You know, that's the kind of imagery that or yeah. night of the living dead, mm-hmm. you know, zombie hordes, but they're running vampires. Uh, there's the aforementioned scene that takes place in the car wash. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. There's a chase through that. That's <laughs> where the, a lot of the spitting happens. That is. Yeah, ooh. there's a lot of because what's her name? Diane, maybe. Diane. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. I think it's Diane. Diane is running away with her boyfriend, and the boyfriend gets caught. And for the next like ten minutes, is she just devoured. stands there and watches. She yeah, stands there and watches him get devoured. This is also it's very bloody, and like you said, this is where all of the throwing up of blood into other people's yeah, faces it's happens a, oh. it's a lot yeah. like well, it's, they, they have like so they have like prosthetics or something yes. on the on parts of the body you know i mean there's a lot of stuff that they're learning from uh tom savini obviously yeah. right uh you know so you see people bite into stuff tear it away there's something underneath it there's some kind of uh tubing with a yes. propulsive jet of yes. always, you know, always blood. with a propulsive jet of blood, always, yeah. which I like because at a certain point it won't stop spraying, and one dude's just <laughs> getting it in the face, in the oh, eyes, the nose. Yeah. Yep. Jesse's he's like gets up and it's spraying, and then he goes back in, yeah. and then he gets up and it's spraying. It's just like, oh my god! And they use it because they're like they so gleeful Gle- in like the, gleeful we're gore. in this like <laughs> in the. It's like, yes. I mean, it's all over and the just place. Dripping <laughs> and just dripping, just all over. I've never seen so much more dripping and, and fl- flowing blood. Yeah. And, oh, and they the show movie. it like, you know, going down drains, running yeah. down the street. It's like, there's just so it's much. Yeah. Like, Everywhere. what the, how many so gallons? So much blood. <laughs> Well, but I can't what? imagine this is a movie that did more than one take of things, right? Like, I think long takes. Yeah, I like think they're that, just like we're going to sp- we're, we're yeah. spray the blood, and we're going to keep going, and we're just yeah, going to get the all of this. Work, yep. You're saying, yeah, I think yeah, some yeah. of the the character stuff they may have done second. Well, sure, yeah, obviously yeah. they have yeah. stuff to cut to, but, but no, the blood is like we're going to film. It's going to flow, yeah. and we're going to film you guys going nuts mm-hmm. on him for like five minutes, and yeah. just go for it and do mm-hmm. it, and this is everything we're going to get. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's, he- intense. it's heavy. It's yeah. intense. Yeah. It's just it's more than you want to see. Just like I don't want those things in my mouth. It's the only thing you can be thinking while watching. <laughs> I just think like, about. Bleh. I just think about like those poor actors go home and they take a shower, ruin their normal ass shower, getting all this stuff off, and then they're just like sneezing it out for days. You just oh, yeah. you got to you got to keep those clothes too, which then get hard. Oh, yeah. they're crusty. They'll be crusty. They get crusty. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> you got to come back. How to right. Continuity. Yeah. All right, everybody, don't forget continuity. <laughs> yeah. You just keep your clothes dirty and just like oh, and it's yeah. Smell I know. Well, well, the main guy, Toby or Gary Miller, his hair, you know, obviously changes. There's a couple scenes where you're like, he's older now than he used to be, sure. you know, because it took place right. over years. Um, but everybody else, yeah. A lot of Mohawks in this movie. Some Mohawks in sure, this movie. Sure, yeah. Yeah. There was, yeah, there was a Mohawk woman in a car at a certain point. Yeah, yeah. what like, was that all gone. about? She's gone. I think she was uh, one of Liven's victims. That he I had... think so. But okay. apparently she got shot through the yeah, neck. Yeah, she had a bullet hole. No, that was a bullet hole, 
little bit. Than that. It was like yeah, one big black. Unless hole, he's yeah. got fangs that he's are five inches out. wide. <laughs> yeah. No, that is a bullet hole. He rips it out with his fingers and his he teeth. Does. And there is a lot of finger ripping. In Why are, do they behave so much like cannibal zombies if they are vampires? Like right. especially I, that yeah. car wash scene. That I mean, was it's, very. It's just like, a version of vampires. I'm all. I'm all. But they're not like drinking the blood. They're like eating the flesh. It looks like they're drinking it because there's one guy who had his was latched onto a wrist. Why they? Yeah, they're mm-hmm. ripping off like flesh all over. I think there are more violent but vampires. I was gonna say, yeah. I mean, you're you're trying to differentiate yourself from like whatever else is going on there. But like, as vampires, are not very efficient because a lot of what their meal is is uh, leaking just, all right. over yeah, in gallons. All it's over it's a celebration floor. of just if as long as the blood is flowing, it yeah. doesn't matter how it gets into my mouth. I'm it's trying to put my mind get it all the, over me. In the mind yeah. of a vampire, Michaela. <laughs> yeah. Go with me. Yeah. On that. I would want to save it. I guess that's the thing. Yeah. You, you actually want to get more of it in right. your mouth. Yeah. And, all right. You want uh, a doggy bag yourself. for this meal? Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm watching a lot of True Blood right now, and it's a much more efficient <laughs> process. They literally yeah. just bite into your neck vein or your femoral artery oh, and your thigh, and that's it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they want to yeah. lick it off you. They yeah. want they're 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 in it for the taste. It feels like not just the sustenance, but they're so like frenzied. Yeah, they're so frenzied about it. It is very like yeah. It's that's why. Feels like dead alive, you know. Yeah, yeah, it does. Well, our heroes uh, lose a couple of people, yeah. uh, you know, in this because uh, there's uh, people that are hacked, they and trade stabbed, women. and knifed right. to death, they and trade hit women with machetes, and <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, it's very gory. Uh, very. A lot of shotgunning. Uh, a, lot a lot of, of running. shotgunning of heads and and vampires and everything. Yep. Then they go. Okay, we're gonna go and. Uh, what gonna, is their plan? We're gonna hold up uh, in a house, and we're waiting for Jody. Jody. One of their they, go, they go to Jody's house. Jody has been to his house, has left his house, and is wandering the streets at this point because he doesn't know what's happening. Oh no, he, he does. does didn't he find somebody dead? I can't remember because everybody finds somebody dead in their house. And uh, Jody wanders but into a up movie theater. theater. Yeah. Um, uh, or, this is where we know that everyone's seen demons at this point. Yeah. Well, I like this. Like I, they, I, all I, these I, film fans, when they make a movie, have to like go to the neighborhood movie theater and like sure. do a scene that takes place there in we some way. As a, you know, um, where he's confronted by Liven, the vampire who has a sp- whole monologue a speech in the original version is deleted from this one, right. which would have fit perfectly in this movie. I don't know. Yeah, why Cause he's out. like, he's the breath of night. I he, love he that's darkness. a great line. I, he's, there's some good lines in that speech. The breath of night, I like. Yeah, there's and it explains. It gives him a little bit more like motivation. Right, it's like I know that had, this kid's following me. Or I'm, I can't find him. Right, but I'm gonna in use this movie, you. He doesn't speak. Yeah, ever. I yeah. like this one moment that he does, and I don't see why it was cut out of this movie. Put also, it back. I don't remember the original version actually having like an ending to Liven's character, which is probably like a plot thing where like your main villain becomes Toby. Or not Toby, sorry, mm-hmm. uh, Jody. It does, yes. Uh, that is a callback to Phantasm, right? Yeah, That's why he's it has there. to be. Because um, Liven apparently bites Jody, turns him into a vampire, so he's going to find, only because we watched the other version, right, he's yeah. supposed to lead he, Liven to Toby. He will find Toby, them so I can take their soul. Yeah, who's yes. been has been using holy water and yep. killing people. Uh, oh, oh, speaking of holy, holy water, water, we can't forget, there was, a, there was a chase at a certain point, which ended up going through... Uh, fields and then I'm going through a small uh, lake or water for, uh, and they end up on the other side. A stream? A stream, there, sure, yes. Stream? What, uh, followed by a flow of vampire slash zombies and this whole time I'm wondering like, because they're carrying and it's a point made that they're carrying holy water yeah. because um, what's his name? Uh, Toby. Toby. Toby is carrying, has been carrying holy water through Different parts in the movie up till this point. Yeah, in a, in a Coke bottle. Right, in a, in a very large, like, two 32 liter ounce. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. the two liter, yeah. In the two liter bottle, squirting people, and it has been having an effect on them. And so, as we're going through the water, and he's holding this very, we're, we were all wondering out loud, what is the effects of holy water if you add it to just water? Because this seems like a conversation you would just have. It's like, yeah. if you mix it in, does all the water become holy right. water? If you does bless the water, yeah. Right. And at the, when they get out of the water at the end, Toby empties the bottle of holy water into Answering the Answering the question as we were Answering asking it. the question as we were asking <laughs> it. And all the vampires in it begin to dissolve. Yeah. Because holy water has entered this... Uh, stream like immediately sort. yeah yeah immediately well, here's which is my- what i wanted i didn't know we're not gonna wait for it to get there immediately right. as he's entering it in there but like so 
if a priest like blessed the ocean, right? this is what this is my question. That yeah. I asked. Can a priest? How big a how, how big, big a body yeah. of water can a priest bless? Right. For it to have an effect <laughs> on vampires. On, on vampires. Well, and like if is... they do bless the ocean, is it good for like ever? Right. How, yeah. Know, yeah. Like, yeah. how long is a bless? yeah. <laughs> blessing? Yeah. What I want to know. Yeah. We answered a little part of that in yeah. this. Appar- I've never seen that done before. I've never seen a whole that river. Yeah. And I'm so glad they did it, yeah. because if I have the question, I'm glad that it was done. Which. Yeah. <laughs> Kudos to this movie for doing that. Bravo. I'm trying and to think of like other melt. ways you could creatively use holy water right. to do this. Because if know? they can do it yeah. 93 like well, this, saying, yeah. we can do it. Yeah, the Splash Master or whatever. Uh, but uh, they yeah. did a little bit of that. Like, yeah. Water guns in, in the yeah, water. Super yeah, Super Soakers and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to be like, how do we work in like a water park into this right. situation? You push the vampire down the slide. Down the water slide and they die. Yeah, exactly. At the top, he's a vampire. At the bottom, he's a skeleton. Yeah, exactly. This is how this works. But he's riding on the tubes like they're right. still holding on yes. to the tubes but they're yeah, skeletons yeah. melting yeah. as he goes down I'm like, these are, these are the ideas somebody's going to steal yeah. listening to this because yeah, yeah. that would be great mm-hmm. Well, this uh, Niagara Falls is like their worst nightmare. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Just like, the mist because that's the, where this, that's oh, where yeah. they, they, all you have to <laughs> yeah. keep the mist to start burning. Or, like, or ah. is that like vampire suicide destination? Like if you want to off yourself as a vampire, you just Yeet yourself into right. Niagara Falls, but also, you know? but there's some who go there and they get hit with the mist and they think about it. And yeah. They're like, nah. I can can't you do bless? It. A oh, cloud? that's their existential crisis, yes. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. yes, yeah. You, like, you, oh, you like taste oh, death oh, a little bit, yeah. and you're yes, like, oh, exactly. you're, you're microdosing Love death. It. Yeah, yeah. Somebody bless <laughs> Niagara yeah. Falls right yeah. now. Yeah. This seems great. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Do We're, they go over the barrel in uh, Niagara uh, Falls? Like, uh, yes, <laughs> this is how I'm going to do it. Yeah. It's, uh, so or, or it's like world. young teen zombies. Like, I bet you won't go over. The, go, over. go over the barrel. <laughs> right, yeah, go over in the barrel. Yeah. It's like a dare. For yes. them. Yeah, how much do you have to boys? lose from right. yeah, yeah. going over? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I guess the the chase through the night, uh, you know, culminates in. Uh, well, they're still looking for Jody. I think like, yep. that becomes like yeah. It's strange that. Uh, Liven does. We do see like he flies at some guy who shoots him a bunch there of times, a lot of that, and he uh, flies away. Yep. I, I I like those moments where he is he's using the. I mean, it's the Evil Dead vision. Yeah, as he's flying in towards guys and flying out after mm-hmm. he gets injured and shit like that. It happens a lot in this movie. Yeah, there's a lot of references to like Evil Dead or Tom Savini stuff. I mean, like it it borrows heavily from things that you've seen yep. uh, before, um, and then uh, culminates in a big chase between. Our heroes, which is basically, I think, well, there's three of them. There's yeah. uh, uh, Toby, uh, like Greg, not know, Diane, Diane, the other one, the other one, <laughs> uh, Kelly, not Diane, Kelly. Kelly. Thank you very much. Or, I'm or, glad that you're the keeping other track way. of this. Uh, <laughs> and uh, no, because Diane, I think, got uh, didn't she get killed uh, outside? Diane the car was the one in the red like, shirt, the yeah, pink shirt. So. And all right, Kelly's the other one. Now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a because uh, 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 we had that monologue scene where Toby had to explain, or, or, you know, what happened. Uh, like all my friends are dead. Yeah. I, I love those where the fan was running in the background of the scene, okay. and he gets to smoke a he cigarette. Does. This is for me. Like, I'm going to smoke at this one. There is a lot of um, a metal back- fan though. Like there it's is. a metal fan. That's, we like, we noticed the there's a lot of background yeah. noise in this, but that doesn't really affect. I I mean, it was done later. It, it seems like all the dialogue, but of just like I think they recorded a lot of it. On, it yeah. Well, it seems like anything that was recorded on set with a fan or with with wind. We had a windy scene. Yeah. It's yes. like they really caught a lot of dialogue <laughs> without the background interfering, which yeah. is a big thing if you're a filmmaker. Just like shut off all air conditionings, all fans, anything that's making noise. They pulled it off with a lot of background yeah. noise. Yeah. Bravo to them. Uh, um. So, uh, uh, movie wraps up with the the chase. Uh, they've been chasing these kids all night. These zombies, of a highway or hill. vampires. Yeah, yeah. Which leads to this is like three minutes before sunup uh, or a sunrise, as the credits will tell you. Meanwhile, sun is blaring on these people yes, at this point. It looks the like it's two in the afternoon. Yeah. Up. Yes. There's a lot of moments where it's just like the sun's coming up. It's two in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. But then, it's like the ultimate. Burn down of vampires. Like everyone, the devil's reign. Have oh we seen god. a right. melting scene go on? Oh my god! This long. Yeah, everyone no melts. <laughs> There's so well, many melts, first- but they're bleed. It's just it's a torrent melting of blood. Melting is blood. Yes. Yeah, that that is it, it, right. A torrent of blood. You are correct. 
Because you everyone. do see it like spilling down the streets at some it's point. It's spilling out of. So there are, I would say, like 20, 25 extras in this yeah. part where just like it is squirting from them. They mm-hmm. are leaking from everywhere. They are dissolving, but it is all in blood. There's no like skin dissolving and everything. It's right. just all blood yep. everywhere. And then, then we get skeletons who have some meat and when I, white eyeballs. That are pulsating, just pulsating. Yeah. They've got a couple guys with the bladder effects on their face yeah, that yeah. were the thing. One guy with on his hand. Yeah, it blows up too much. It fills up too much, yeah. and then it pops. You know, yeah. but it was yeah. like yeah. it oh. is. <laughs> in, uh, it is. A, it is an orgy of gore. Yeah. At the end of this movie, as far as the meltdown of this group of vampires. We're not going to be able to post sun. anything from this Probably movie no. on our and social media. Are, it's, no all gonna gonna to, it's all going to get banned. It's all going to get sucked. Yeah, yeah. But it is a crazy meltdown because they go from so many different, the start out from a, you know, a, a human being to just skeletons with meat and just squirting blood and screaming. And skeletons and are like vibrating and uncomfortable yeah. Yeah. for it some is, reason. Yeah, exactly. It is. Cr- it's crazy. <laughs> But like you gotta, you gotta love the the effort and the joy that it feels like right. was put into this. Right. Yeah. Like these people really, I feel like they really enjoyed what they were doing at this point. Yeah. And yeah. it comes across, and I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> you get to get out there, and get splattered with blood, <laughs> right. screaming, you get blood you know, spraying everywhere. Yeah. Like you gotta enjoy just blood splattering everywhere in things like this. You gotta yeah. get people who are down for that, and I feel like they did. I like at the end of it, uh, uh, Gary Miller gets or Toby gets to have that, that freak out moment. It does. It's like because uh, I I thought that maybe the movie would have been stronger if it just ended cut to black and him like doing that scream that like cuts yes. in like seven several That's times. That's what I was he waiting for. Hit in the face with blood. And he's like. Aah! Yeah, that's what Bro! I was waiting for. <laughs> On that second scream, if they had cut to black, it would have been like, credits. Fuck yeah, yeah, no, yeah. bravo. But then there's a additional scene where he and Kelly are going to go off and they arm they themselves wake up, up and, and they're just it's like two weeks later and mm-hmm. they're just like ready because they're I think that's now. like the I think that's the following night right uh, they're prob- like probably, oh, I was just remembering like, everything right, that happened but this he, morning yeah 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 <laughs> just I just remember what happened an hour ago and I'm just, yeah. but if the yeah, it feels like they've they're ready now because they've re-upped their ammo and yeah. they're just like. They're this is what they do now. Yeah, they go hunters, and hunt. Right, we're hunters. hunters. We're hunters at night. But yes, I really <laughs> wish they had cut to black. <laughs> right during yeah. his screen, mm-hmm. it would have been great. Yeah, and then there's there a, a post post uh, oh. uh, right where we see that Livin has survived. Livin and, has uh, survived uh, his hand. But I think with that, by dirt. removing his speech, you take away any kind of personality from th- him, and yes. he just becomes you know like the metal guy. I think so. The heavy metal rocker. I think whatever. he needed that speech to be more of a threat yeah. within this movie. I mean, it's goofy. It's really heavy handed, but I, sure, I think but it that fits is the movie. with the aesthetic right. of the movie. It fits, yeah, yeah, it fits everything else in this right. movie. Yeah. Um, so there you go. And then, then, then there's credits and music by apostasy, which was all that was put in on the vampire version. The original version has yeah. like several other uh, different songs of yeah. the same musical genre, but they replaced them all. So, um, and I, yeah, so I don't know that, uh, which version to watch. I, I don't know. I, I went Crazy. with this one cause it made more narrative sense because if he's put it together and you're like, Oh, I understand why that person's doing this. Right, right. Um, but then there's a lot of stuff I like about the original unfiltered VHS version. Both of them are available on the, uh, the DVD. And I assume and I'm sure we'll all of this too. will be available on the arrow version. Yeah. Like you will get every, uh, the arrow mm-hmm. version, just looking at the back of this DVD that has, Five paragraphs of special features. Mm-hmm. The Arrow Jesus. video version is going to be fantastic. Yeah. Right. I have a feeling. And you're probably listening to this because you Googled the Arrow version and have found our podcast. So thank right. you very much. That I saw a very uh, <laughs> a clearer version of this movie right. that yeah. we did not see, but they Maybe you saw details we did not see. Right. Let us know. Let I'm us very know. curious yeah. of the details that will pop mm-hmm. in a cl- quote unquote cleaned up version of yeah. this. And maybe so it's the final it. cut, yeah. the final version, the final vampire version. Uh, who knows? Um, yes. All right. So now we're going to tell you whether or not you should watch this movie, whether we individually would recommend it. But first, we're going to. Uh, Summon our mailman. Read some of your mail. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters. Masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising. Rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you, sir. Smelting. 
You think ever, no, he's ever Meryl exploded? In a I was like, you think you've been to Kansas is what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, you think he's been yeah, to Kansas? Yeah, he's probably been probably to Kansas. A part of him has, think, at least, I, right? right? A piece I, of him? Yeah. Definitely. I, but I think Igor, when he's not around us, goes on little excursions to these places. And he's like, ah, yes, there was bloodlet here. Ah. He, he gets vacation time? <laughs> He gets PTO? What else is he doing during the week when we're not doing this? I mean, this? we record is every week, though. Is he cleaning our house? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. He's doing something. Yeah, I think this is his job <laughs> for a day. Yeah. yeah. And then he's off doing shit. He's going to write a book someday. And we're all going to be very blown away. <laughs> it's going to be like an Anthony Bourdain type, <laughs> type <laughs> thing. Anthony Bourdain or even like, world, um, yeah. um, what's his name? Gonzo journalist. Um, oh, Hunter, Hunter Thompson. Thompson. Hunter, he's going to be yeah. a Hunter S. Thompson yeah. of just <laughs> going weird <laughs> shit in fucking places. <laughs> that's, that's our Igor. Okay, all right. Well, we want you to keep Igor employed and in order to, to do that you're gonna have to yeah we want him to come back follow along on facebook facebook.com slash freak show or x formerly known oh, as twitter jesus at set freak show you can email us directly Saturday Saturday freak, freak show, show at yahoo.com yahoo. you can follow along in threads or instagram <laughs> threads is dead is okay, it? is it? it Can I stop saying late. this? It dropped off like 49% yeah, yeah. of oh, interact Because uh, it's all activity. like sponsored ads, right? For the most part, that's what uh, I heard. I'm I heard you gonna... can't control your timeline. No, you can't. Oh. You see a bunch yeah, of And you can't chronologically They also sort introduced it, yeah. it with, with like, this is a Twitter killer, but without the features that good Twitter used to have. Right. Like, what? I hate people who debut their apps and just like, we have less features than what you love, yeah. but. We're going to work those in eventually. Yeah, well, we're, yeah. fuck you. Like, get how it right they, and deliver How did they it. drop the ball that hard? Like, all they I had. I don't know. All, <laughs> like, they had all the information they needed to they had make. They all the information. They had all the time. And the, the fucking together. I'm like, I, I can't fucking believe that. Wow. Okay, so you, can I stop uh, with the threading? I mean, well, I'm you you tell threads. us. If you're following us if on threads, let us know if we got to stay on threads. You are on threads. Yeah. Please? Yeah. Because I don't... I haven't been on there. Is it... Well, we're Sat Freak know. Show on, on threads. And there Instagram. Go, there you go. There you go. Uh, about tonight's movie, Darkness, Travis Legler writes in and says, How bad can Wichita be? Isn't that the same place John Candy hung out with Steve Martin for a bit? And look how <laughs> things worked out for them. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. I remember, yeah. Yeah, I remember yes. suitcases being launched yep. in the air. And, yeah. uh, uh, well, G Money says, I remember the Fangoria ads hyping this up. The covers, especially the melty one, attracted me like catnip. The quality resembled a low-budget porno, but the gore <laughs> on display was inspired. Inspired. Yeah, definitely. Woo-hoo. Militime says uh, the pick of Liven, which is the cover <laughs> image, the blue. It looks like something out of a Marilyn Manson video. Yep. Yes, he does. And Michael Whitaker says, actually, reading the synopsis, it sounds pretty kick-ass. Unfortunately, I'm going to be camping this weekend, so I won't have any time to try and find it. You have yeah. other weekends, sir. Find it. Yeah, there but he go. wants to be current. I know, but so just like, yeah. Yeah, wait a week. You'll it is be, not, as just, far as we know, currently streaming, but I assume the Arrow release will fix that. Um, right, yes. Last week, we watched a movie called Insomnia, and about sure that movie, Richard Kratzer wrote in and said, Stellan Skarsgård, oh, he's talking about the original. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw that picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stellan Skarsgård always elevates everything he's in. I especially Absolutely. love his performance in the American remake of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Talk about an intense and stress-inducing performance. Agreed. That Agreed. movie is just perfect. I, I, I think the American the, remake of The Girl with the Dragon really, is a yeah, fucking it's perfect good. movie. Yeah. It's very I good. I it. wish... I wish Fincher would have dedicated to doing all of them. Yeah, Yeah. because I would have really liked to have seen those. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because it it, like the first one is not the most interesting of all of them, which is crazy. More interesting going on. Yeah, and see that intrigues me because I was riveted by that movie. You know, I I like Like, right to continue on with him. I think it would have been. It didn't. It didn't make the the box office that they. No, it didn't. But it won Oscars, didn't it? Uh, did they, did they uh, editing Oscars. It won no one for editing. I don't think it won for score. It definitely gotcha. won for editing, which was a surprise because yeah. the same guys who won for editing for the social network. Yeah. Uh, won it for that. Gotcha. And they were very surprised for it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. We should have got more. I really wish we Society did. Society didn't appreciate Fincher that movie at the Fincher. time. Let's I look know. at the Fincher drops. Uh, we yeah. got uh uh the, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. We also have Mindhunter, yeah. which was dropped after yeah. was like, Fincher, Girl with the Dragon going. Tattoo, Fincher's last theatrical film. There, I thought there was Shit. something after did, that. Wait, did no, Gone, Gone Girl come after that? Gone Girl was oh, after Gone Girl that. Was yeah. Gone Girl came after, after that. Okay. But was that the last one? I that actually so. played in oh, theaters. Oh, no. Uh, he um, the TV. black and white one. No, uh, that was Netflix. Oh, right, well, but maybe that's a movie. Had, uh, um, Mencken? Yeah. Mencken. That was yeah. his movie. Yeah, that was his last movie. Oh, is it Mencken? Mencken. Mencken. 
Mank. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Mank. Mankowitz. Yeah. yeah. Mankowitz. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So um, Come on, Fincher, finish. Keep going with your shit. Hey, we love it. Go back and make a theatrical. God okay. Uh, Ryan Larson said Insomnia was a great episode, and you need to cover the American remake of The Vanishing as well, because we mentioned that. Yeah. We're talking about American remakes of foreign movies, and we forgot, um, was it Night Watch? The one with Ewan McGregor? That yeah. was that was a, a originally mm-hmm. a foreign film, and I yes. think the same director did both mm-hmm. of those Ooh, also. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cuz they did Night Watch Day Watch and then No, 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 not that right? one. The the old Night Watch the old the, the one. guy okay. is like in the uh, yes. morgue. Yeah. I, I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. that trailer was on the front of a Halloween movie on yeah, VHS. Josh, Josh Brolin and Ewan Yeah, McGregor all right. Yeah, but yeah, that yeah. was a remake of uh, Right. No, I want to see that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for writing in. Mm-hmm. We appreciate, uh, we appreciate it. Everybody. We do. Um, okay, so we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Leaf Jonker's Darkness, starting with Michaela. Who else am I going to go to? Yeah, I don't if know. I'm not I... going to me. It's right. going to be you. What did you think about Leif Jonker's Darkness from 1993? Uh, you know, I appreciate Ish. the spirit and the dedication <laughs> and the drive because like this is the, this is the genesis of good filmmakers, right? Like the people who start when they don't have a reason to other than loving movies to do it are the ones who are the best at it. And I feel like any good director you've looked at in life has a origin story like this. So I think that this is a specific type of person that I really like and I really respect. Um, There's just bigger versions of it. Yeah, you exactly. You start locally like this or you start small on a Jane or a, a Corman movie doing right. effects or a James right. Cameron movie doing effects. And there's yeah. a certain amount of luck in who you know and connections in it. And it's, you know, you you are only in control of so much of your destiny. You know, so <laughs> yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean you're any less talented. You know, um, because I mean, there's a famous saying that like you're not ugly, you're just poor, and I feel like <laughs> that applies to a lot of things in life, right? Like you're not an amateur filmmaker, you just don't have connections to money. Mm-hmm. I right. feel like <sighs> the difference is you just don't have the access to the resources you need. Not right. that you don't have the talent, right. but that's that yeah. same spirit and talent, exactly, exactly right, that you have. Yeah, you're just not James Cameron. Didn't you, have the opportunity to go work for exactly. Yes. Like I feel like a lot of people could make great movies if they had access to millions of dollars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's I. So I really like watching grassroots stuff like this. That being said, <laughs> did not particularly enjoy the movie. <laughs> Found it to be kind of redundant, and but I see like the nuggets of like a really talented person here, you know. And I feel like there's a parallel universe somewhere where he is the Sam Raimi, right? Mm, you know, right? Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, it's just, I don't know what you're going to gain from this other than just being like, that's cool, you know, after watching this. So I don't think I can recommend it because it was kind of redundant and scenes went on for a very long time. And it's just, it's so first movie that I... I feel like once you've seen everyone's first movie, you've kind of seen everyone's That is first what you movie, kind of have you know? to go in. Like, what yeah. is everyone's... You are comparing it yeah. to that. What is everyone's first movie? What are they... Because right. there is a similarity of what people are trying to accomplish in the right, first right. movie mm-hmm. to be looked at and mm-hmm. everything. So, yes. I well, and there's that. this... So, there's this thing that I think it applies to most professions, but especially, like, any sort of creative endeavor you have. There's going to be a long period of time where your taste is so much higher up than your skill set. It yes. takes you a long time to get your skills to match your want, taste. You know what good there, is. You have to practice. Yes. You know what good is and you can recognize it, but your skills are not there yet. And in that space is when most people quit because mm. they're frustrated because they're not, they, they have the, the, the Chris Nolan, John Carpenter, whatever ideas, but they have the fucking dollar store budget right. or the dollar store skill set or the dollar store right. resources. And that's when everybody quits. So if you can push past that, that will separate you from, the haves and have nots in, in the career wise. So there are going to be years yeah. where you just like feel like a failure yeah. at whatever you're doing. Right. Go through it. Uh, Pedro Pascal did not become famous until he was like, what, 46 years old? How many mm. times do you think that man almost gave up on his career? You sure. know? And uh, now he's every he's a household name. He's an A list celebrity. Yeah. So, every you know? story is um, every, uh, everyone almost gave up. Yeah. And exactly. They got it. So yeah, le- take that from this movie, if nothing else. <laughs> take that lesson from this movie. Um, but I'm, I I can't recommend it based on my philosophy around the movie. I have to base it on the movie I watch, and I don't know that I'd recommend anybody watch this. So I'm going to pass on it, Sean. Um, I think I'm going to go the opposite way, <laughs> and just in the spirit of filmmaking, I think I have to recommend this movie <laughs> because I recognize I recognize a lot of what these filmmakers their uh, w- uh what they're trying to do, like their um uh just the energy towards what they want to try and accomplish 
And if nothing else, just for the fucking gonzo out there gore that they were able to do for this movie. Because that, in the effects, I love the accomplishment of what they did. Um, just some gory ass shit, but all, and some stuff that is just, it's cool to look at. I'm, uh, you know, you watch it and you're like, Oh, they pulled that off. That was good. They pulled that off. That was good. Um, the spirit of filmmaking pulls me a long way with movies like this. Um, and I like their dedication to it. And, uh, I was entertained through the entire movie. Like I it just, in in its weirdness, in its in its era of filmmaking, this all has to do with you know where it come from, where it comes from, the year it comes from, and what they were trying to do in their dedication to it. I'm gonna recommend it because I I love how into it it seems like everybody was for this film, um, uh, and yeah, and and just the um, my interest in the uh, it can become scientific. The interest in the different versions of this as well, like I'm. I'm curious about what came out when it did and why it changed when they went back to it in 2005 to update things. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to recommend it. This seems like a, uh, a, a, a unique, it feels like a gem in this era, like, uh, especially for effects and everything. Um, I'll recommend it. And I'm very curious about the, uh, arrow video and the versions that will come out from this. Like, I, I do want to see this. It became, it became scientific for me. Like, I'm just like, all right, we got this. What is the other version and the comparisons and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I like the movie and I'm curious about more of the movie. So I will recommend it because I think you will too. I think there's a lot to discover about this movie, how it was made, the thoughts of the filmmakers and all that stuff. So, Yes, I will recommend it. Colin, take us home. I mean, what? I'm going to photocopy your review. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Recommend it. That, yeah. Uh, it, for exactly the same reasons. Um, I, I would recommend uh, the other two that I uh, mentioned, which were uh, Deadbeat at Dawn. Okay. It's a yeah, more yeah. accomplished. These I'm curious uh, about. You know, uh, uh, it feels, you know, a little, I guess because it's a, it's a biker movie. You know, right. like associated with like low budget horror stuff, sure. uh, uh, and Dead Next Door would be the other one. It's like you gotta you gotta check those out. Were I there think, bikers in Near Dark? I, know, I we forgot to mention Near Dark, yeah. but like yeah, there's a heavy of. influence of that yeah. era, yeah, yeah, yeah. like on this. They go to like a biker bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 but they're like in the motorhome. They're of that, yeah, mm -hmm. a group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, I, you know, it's like I guess it's the um, would this. And I guess that's what I was kind of, you know, like you, Sean, I was like, you know, the spirit of the filmmaking, um, would this inspire young filmmakers today? You know, it's like, here's what you could get away with, because in reality, the window of opportunity where you could actually make a low budget movie of this quality and, you know, go somewhere with it, which I mean, it played all over the world. Yeah. You know, it's got multiple DVD and, and Blu-ray releases is like, I think that window it's kind of closed. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't agree. Mm -hmm. It's a different window now. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it can inspire you as like, far as uh, like. Talk to me and everything that's coming yeah, out now. Yeah, yeah. You have to do almost something like that. It can't be, you know, but. I you mean, have to make a movie now. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to have a technical competence yes. with, you know, more, uh, more so, current, yes. you know, stuff, unless things change. I mean, the upside of this is um, that it's a very specific, you know, like regional kind of movie. I mean, obviously the themes play all over the place. Yes. It's, you know, vampires, apocalypse, I'm the last man standing, here are my friends, we have to stand against the hordes of invading, you know, like uh, undead monsters. Uh, it's all metal, you know, metal. it's flannel and metal <laughs> so and mohawks metal. <laughs> and Iron Maiden shirts and all that yep. stuff. So, uh, I like that, that it's like, you know, it's so very like, it's a uh, that group of people. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And it's like, we're, we're talking to the gore, the gore <laughs> specifically. Yes. We know who you are. So, um, yeah, I would recommend the movie. I think you should check it out. Uh, there you go. All right. Next week, uh, we're watching a movie that is chosen by Sean. What are we watching next week? Fuck it. We're going to watch oh. Street Fighter. 
right. <laughs> the John Claude and Julia. Uh, um, Raul Julia. Raul yeah. Julia yeah. starring right. Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. Okay. All right. Nice. I've never seen it, I don't think. I've seen okay. bits and right. pieces of it, but not the whole all thing. Right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> well, well, the whole history and legacy of the video I game. I think Holly will like this. <laughs> For Jeez, which... I was like, how many JCVD movies are we at now? He's, he's approaching Stallone on the wall there. I know, may have eclipsed him at this <sighs> point. Who nah, knew that he was Stallone's in so many... got so many you guys forget. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you'll join us next week for Street Fighter, the movie. Was it the movie? Ooh. Tagged as the no, movie? No, I think it was just Street Fighter. Just Street Fighter. Okay. On the Saturday Night Freak Show, we hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.